is Tilly and I don't normally do TBR videos but I have been struggling to read books now for the last three months and so I've decided that I just have to have some sort of motivation to get me to read this month. So I had an idea. I want to read five books this month. Start of the year me that would have been easy but for currently me uh, that is like three more books than what I have normally read these last few months and you guys are gonna help me. I have 14 books sitting on the floor here and they are all from my TBR. These are my top to be read books and I want you guys to pick which five I should read. I'm gonna show you guys what books I have and then I will also leave all their titles down in the comment section and if you guys can be absolute champions and like which ones you guys think I should read this month then whichever has the highest amount of likes I will read. And if I don't read them I will give you guys my address to send abusive letters to me. Not really, you guys can just send me letters of encouragement and tell me to keep on reading. Why am I saying you guys have to send me letters? Just, you know, leave comments, encourage me, um, add me on Goodreads, you guys can watch my progress. What am I doing? I need to introduce you guys to the books. These are in no particular order, I'm just gonna call them out and you guys will probably sit there thinking, oh my god, yes, I love that book. Firstly, we have The Queen of the Tealing by Erica Johansson, beautiful cover, and I've heard many great things about this book. Salts to the Sea by Ruta Sepides, and I love Between Shades of Grey, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy this, and once again, it is a stunning cover. I have been told many times that uh, it is quite horrendous that I have not yet read this book and that is Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rashk and yeah I know I need to read it. I'm actually amazed that I haven't read this next book yet because it is like so amazing and I've heard so many good things about it and that is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff and once again covers I love them. Thanks to the YA Chronicles I also have Three Dark Crowns by Kendare Blake on that list and Kendare Blake is you know amazing I love Anna Jess and Blood so I should enjoy this. And these next two books are also from the YA Chronicles because I'm that far behind on my TBR we have Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. She also wrote All the Bright Places which I gave like an average score to so I hope this one will be better. And recently released Heartless by Marissa Meyer, who is the author of the Lunar Chronicles, so, you know, it's bound to be amazing. Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, and why is every damn book cover so beautiful? I have heard amazing reviews about this next one, and that is Gemini by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, and I have this in the hardcover and the paperback because stunning! The Wrath and the Dawn by Renée Adhi, and I know that the second one in this is out, so might be a good time to read it. Furthermore, by Tahira Murphy, and most of these books are like new series or books from other authors, so she wrote the Shatter Me series, which was so good. Passenger by Alexandra Bracken, and I feel like I'm the only person who hasn't read this book yet. Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow, and this was all the rage last month, and I don't even really know what it's about. And lastly, thanks to Fairy Loot, I have Nemesis by Anna Banks, and once again, I have heard amazing things about this book, and I just don't know where to put it on my damn TBR. So there you guys have the top of my TBR, and please, please, please help me choose which books to read this month. And also, huge thank you guys for helping me. If you guys are watching this, or you guys are liking the comments, or anything like that, uh, thank you. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, and that next month I will be back with the wrap up video containing five and hopefully more of these good books. Hope you guys have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you.